Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Maximum Likelihood Estimation. And in this video, we're going to derive the maximum likelihood estimates for a Burr distribution. And here's the density of a Burr distribution. C and K are the unknown parameters. X to the C minus 1, 1 plus C to the X to the C, all raised to the K plus 1. The, uh, the random variable and the parameters are all positive. And when doing maximum likelihood estimation, we need a sample, so we need to look at the joint density. So the, this is x a vector, so x1, x2, etc. It's just the product of the independent densities. And then this becomes this, right? So there's c, there's n c, so c to the n, k to the n, uh, you know, x1 to the c minus 1, x2 times c, you know, raised to the c minus 1. So that's what this becomes, and the bottom is tough to deal with, so it's just the product of the x plus xi raised to the c, all raised to the k plus 1. Now, let's take the log of this, because that is will be way easier to solve for maximum likelihood estimation. So the log likelihood is this, so it's the log of this, so it's going to be you know, then it's the the sum and then a minus because it's divided by. So this is n log c, n log k, and the c minus 1 comes out log of this product, right? And then we'll switch that in a second because the log of a product is the sum of the logs. And then it's minus this, so uh, the uh, k plus 1 comes out front times the log of this. And again, the log of a product is the sum of the logs. So now I'll start taking partial derivatives. So the partial derivative of L with respect to K is this. So this is 0. This is N over K. This is 0. And then this product multiplied by that, multiplied by this. But So the derivative of minus K times this is just this constant. We set it equal to 0. Then we add this to the other side and cross multiply to get the k up. And this is it. k is equal to n over. And notice that, oh, here, instead of the, um, the uh, log of a product, I use the sum of the logs. And it's going to be easier to take a derivative of that in the next equation. And so this is it. And then we're, ultimately, we're going to take this and plug it into that equation. But now let's take the partial derivative of L with respect to C. Then we get N times, you know, N over C, 0. And then that goes into both of those. So then you just get this constant. But notice I wrote it the sum of the log of the Xi's, not the log of the product of the Xi's. Then here, oh, this is the function of C, right, in that exponent. So this is a constant. So minus that that comes out front then instead of using this one let's use this version right the sum of the logs log of the products the sum of the logs which is this okay so it's a little bit closer so we it's the sum and then the log it's it's so it's one over that one plus xi and then the derivative of this inner part that's zero xi to the c remember we're taking it in terms of c so the derivative of this is you get it back, and then it's the log of the xi, log of that constant. And this is it. So we set it equal to 0. Now there's so many ways that you can solve this, but I really think unit in R is so powerful and fast. And so we're going to plug this into unit in R, and it solves it instantly for C that makes this 0. Then once we know the estimate for C, we can plug it in here and get an estimate for K. And then we're done. And those are the two maximum likelihood estimates. So what I want to do now is show you this or illustrate it in R.